Hey, my name is Andy. I'm Associate Product Manager at PDFtron. And today I'll be going over how you can embed WebViewer, which will allow you to view and edit PDFs into your very own uh, Next.js app. All right, let's get started. So first, uh, let's navigate to an empty folder and open up a terminal of your choice. Here I'm using the command window. Um, let's start a Next.js project by using npx create next app. It's going to ask you a couple questions. So let's just name this project the default my app and we'll wait for it to install. Okay, so everything finished installing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the folder and then run the command yarn dev to start up the development server. And we'll just wait for that to build and compile. All right, there we go. So uh, let's navigate to localhost 3000 here to double check that everything is working. And this is um, what you should get here. So to actually uh, import the uh, web viewer into the project, let's start by opening this project in VS Code. So I've done so right here. You can see the folders listed here. We got node modules, pages, uh, public and styles. And the page that we were just looking at is right here. So this is what we'll be uh, modifying. But before that, let's install the web viewer library by using npm install pdftron slash web viewer. And let's also save that as the dependency. So it looks like it installed. Uh, let's just double check that it should be right here. And the next step that we have to do is we have to copy uh, this folder here so core and ui under the public folder into our actual uh, next.js project now if you are cloning the github repository there should already be a script in there to automate copying these files uh, if you just run npm install but if you're doing this manually and importing this into uh, any next.js project by yourself this is something you'll have to do on your own so let's select these folders and copy both and then put them into a public. And to better organize this, let's also create a folder called lib for library and put these two folders into that one. Awesome, okay. Now we're ready to actually start writing some code. So I'm gonna start off by deleting everything in here and uh, pasting the template that we have on our GitHub. This is also in our guides as well, which um, everything will be linked uh, down in the description below. So first, we imported two functions here from React and then created a functional component just called homepage. Then we initialized the variable here called viewer using uh, one of the functions from React, which references a JSX object inside the DOM. Um, right now we're just using null to initialize it. And then using the use effect hook, which runs uh, whenever a component mounts, uh, we import the web viewer library. And notice that the import happens here uh, instead of up here, which is usually where libraries are imported. And that's because um, Next.js does server-side rendering by default. And we need to import this library after this hook because this hook ensures that the component mounts or renders before all of this is done. And because the library has dependencies on uh, knowing where the window for the component is, we have to initialize it here. So after that's done, after the library is imported, uh, we call the web viewer constructor here. This takes in a uh, options object as well as an HTML object. And you can see here that we included the path to the libraries for the files that we copied earlier, as well as an initial document. Notice that both of these uh, file paths are with reference to the public folder. So that's why this is lib. And for the initial document here, since this was copied uh, from GitHub, we don't have this file here. So you can also use a link, which I have. Uh, and this is a link to just one of our PDFs. After that, the we get an instance back of web viewer, which we can use to call all the various APIs, uh, which are documented on our website, which will also be linked down below. And that's all there is to it in terms of actually uh, initializing and importing web viewer. 
To display the component, we then return a div with a couple class names, a header, uh, as well as the actual reference to the viewer. Uh, notice here that there's also a bit of CSS installing applied in, in order to make the web viewer show up. And since I stopped the uh, server from running earlier, let's just start the server back up by using yarn dev. You can also use uh, npm run dev as well. And then let's go to localhost 3000. Uh, and you can see here that web viewer is here with the PDF that we imported. So yeah, that's it. That's how you embed uh, PDF Trans web viewer into an XGS application. If you also want to use other frameworks or modify PDFs, uh, there's quite a lot of documentation online. You just go to pdftron slash documentation slash, I think it's guides. Yeah, guides. Uh, and you can see here that we have a lot of uh, different functions and APIs for a lot of the things that you may need to do with PDFs, such as creating, uh, creating them, creating forms, page manipulation, uh, editing page content extraction, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, there's a lot of documentation across here and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let us know uh, down in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and see you around.